get it to work. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. I tried to keep this at the middle school level with some high school stuff kind of squeezed in. And I tried to keep it as hands-on as possible. It was really hard with astronomy. There just isn't a lot to do, if you know what I mean. Okay, so. The breakdown is the topics that we're going to cover like in class are uh, moon phases and seasons, some solar, so the solar system, stellar evolution, so how um, stars are born, how they exist and how they die at the end, and then Big Bang Theory, so the theory that explains the formation of the universe. Because it seems like you can't do astronomy unless you talk about Big Bang, right? Because with that TV show and everything. <laughs> so, got to go with it. Um, we're going to have two field trips, as you probably know about. We're going to Northwestern University to hear their PhD student, or professor, I'm not quite sure, speak on astrophysics. And then we're going to go to the Adler Planetarium, too, because they, they have just fantastic science facilities. We tried to arrange a, like a trip to an observatory, but it really just didn't pan out. It's, they, the, the observatories only work on work days, or so like weekdays, so we just had to go with this. On the solar system, that module, that will consist of a PowerPoint with information about the solar system. Then there's a fact scavenger hunt. So we're gonna, you'll hide different clues throughout the room. Uh, there's a printout I'll give you. And they, the, the kids go to the different stations and try to figure out the clues. And at the end, you kind of can give them the answers. But it gets them thinking about the solar system, about, about the facts they learned in the PowerPoint. And then finally, there's, there's, it's called a cootie catcher. Have you seen the thing the kids play with that where if you like, you move things around, you fold it up. I got, found one of those with science, with uh, astronomy. So they're going to cut one of those out and fold it, and it has interesting facts about all the different planets. So that's the plan for the first module, and I'll go through the PowerPoints on each of these as I go through. The second, um, and, the, and when I say second, I don't necessarily mean in a certain order. You, um, all the different campuses will rotate. So it's who's, who, um, it hasn't yet been determined what you'll get what day. In stellar evolution, you'll have there's also be a PowerPoint. And then there's a kinesthetic activity where the kids are all going to get together as a class and simulate what a star, um, star's life looks like. So they're going to simulate being the inside core of a star and pushing against the outside core. They'll deal with the difference between gravity and, and core pressure. And then finally, there's going to work with spectroscopes. We have the little black spectroscopes over here. We're going to show them how we as scientists have determined that everything in the universe came from stars to come right now that we can look through spectroscopes and see the different elements on the periodic table throughout the universe. And so they're going to see all the different colors from these different color tubes. Okay? Um, there's a Big Bang Theory PowerPoint, and there's an activity involving balloons. We're going to uh, simulate the formation of the universe by, by blowing up a balloon, and we're going to see how... Um, what's his name? I can't think right now. Fam Edwin Hubble, that's the name. That's the name. How Hubble's law works and how we, we science believes right now that the universe is expanding. Okay, and then finally, Earth, Sun, and Moon. There's going to be uh, a demonstration about the different moon phases. So, uh, waxing crescent, waning crescent, waxing gibbous. Wait, sit there. Okay, but yeah. Um, um, I'm, it's weird. I can get in front of high school juniors and be totally cool. But you throw me in front of adults, and I, I, my brain just goes nuts. Um, there, uh, there's a lamp I have to simulate the moon phases. Okay, so we'll, I'll show you that activity. Then there's a PowerPoint about the seasons, and we know that the seasons are caused by the Earth's tilt. Because you know, even though it's really cold, we're actually heading toward the sun right now. And we will be until the, summer, the winter solstice. I think that's January 17th. Um, and there's going to be a seasons activity where they're going to use a flashlight to simulate the sun and then look at the Earth and see how the sunlight affects the Earth, and see what the, what the Earth would be like if we didn't have a tilt, or if we were tilted 90 degrees, so like only the northern hemisphere saw the sun, how our seasons would look in that case. Okay, so let's move on to the first one. Or so this, um, th this is one, this is the planets, uh, the solar system module, sorry, solar system lesson, okay? 
So astronomy is the, is the science that seeks to understand the universe, everything outside the Earth, like, and answer questions like, how was the Earth formed? Where, where did the universe come from? Um, it's such, so it studies, obviously, stars, planets, nebulas. And I try to make these PowerPoints with as front-loaded as possible. So you really just kind of, you can read off it and then improvise like what you know from this information. So there are eight planets right now in the solar system. Four are called terrestrial because they're made mostly of rock. And then four are called uh, Julia, Jovian, excuse me, because they are very much like Jupiter. They're gas giants. They're made of uh, mostly uh, gas. All right? Pluto used to be a planet, like when we were kids, but scientists determined that it's a dwarf planet, and one of the reasons was that it doesn't orbit normal. Like, the rest of the planets are, are on this flat disk called an accretion disk. Pluto kind of orbits way on the side, and that tells us that Pluto was probably not part of the original planets. From what we can tell, Pluto was part of Neptune, actually. That's a little aside. And at some point, Neptune was hit by something, and Pluto was knocked off. Pluto is about the size of Russia. It's actually very small. Okay, um, the first model of the universe that scientists came up with was called the geocentric model, that Earth was in the center. And um, it worked for, for some things. It explains, like, why does the sun seem to move in the horizon? Like, it seems to us that the sun moves. So surely the sun moves around the Earth. It, it makes sense to us. But there are certain things it doesn't really explain. And one of them is retrograde motion. To where, so if you're looking at the out in the sky, if you look at big observations every day, certain planets will start to move back. They'll move forward at four time, and then they'll move back. And if those, if the Earth is in the center, why would they move back and forth? The reason is that they are not that Earth. I'm sorry, the reason is that the Earth and other planets are all orbiting the sun, which leads us to the heliocentric model. All right. So the heliocentric model is the. the model that scientists right now use to understand the universe. All right, the sun is in the center. And one thing that, a common misconception, is that people think the sun is still. And it's not. It's actually orbiting a black hole at the center of the galaxy. OK. Um, one, for the high school students, I wanted to throw in a little bit about Kepler's laws. Kepler's laws are these observations concerning um, astronomical phenomena. So the first one is that planets orbit the sun as an eclipse. An eclipse is like a really wide circle with the, with the uh, sun at one of the off-center points, one of the foci of the eclipse. So it's not a perfect circle. It's actually a slightly flattened off-center circle. Um, the second law is that planets pass equal areas at equal times. And what that means in English is that planets go faster when they're closer to the sun and slower when they go away from the sun. Excuse me, Jason, do you mind if he gets the equipment?